Well, welcome back to the Wild Mushroom Hunter. Fishing was slow again, so came up to the forest here in Chilliwack to look for mushrooms in where I always find the golden chanterelles. Once again, they're here, 2019, beautiful year. Tons of rain we had this fall. Temperatures are good. It's actually pretty cold. It snowed up here, so I'm hoping it doesn't get too cold too fast. Hopefully it warms up a little bit so it, to extend this great fall mushroom season, but there's mushrooms, because I, I just parked my car, I walked about 50 feet. But look at this, golden chanterelles. Some of them are older, but uh, there's some nice ones popping up here. Look at this, a couple there, one hiding right there, a couple older ones right there, a big one right there. Look at that monster beauty right there. Oh yeah, and there's, there's gonna be more. We're in this mossy kind of area with these old, I don't know, some kind of hemlock or pine tree. I don't know what these are. But it doesn't matter, because they're here. Oh, look at that, more right there. I just saw more right there. Oh man, this is a good year. Look at those big ones hiding right there. Oh, and I think I probably will find more here. So let's pick these ones up, and then we'll go keep searching. I'll cut them off. I got my fishing knife with me in the bucket. Time to collect some shrooms. Hey guys, if you like these videos that I make, don't forget to um, hit the like button because that really helps me out with the YouTube stats and will help more people find my channel so that they can uh, like and follow my videos and hit that notification bell because that'll tell you when I actually post a video. Hey, thanks for following as always. Keep on watching. Hopefully I find some more mushrooms here. And I usually find some pine mushrooms down here as well. So we'll see what we find. Check out this stunning golden chanterelle. I guess it's called a cascade chanterelle. Found on the Pacific Northwest coast. That's a beautiful mushroom right there. So pretty. Look at these stacked up hiding right under here. Kind of underneath a log. They're coming out from underneath. You gotta make sure when you're picking mushrooms, cause chanterelles they don't really grow on wood. So these are not coming off the wood, they're coming out of the ground. See that below the log? Because sometimes picking the wrong mushroom can be done if you pick it like in the wrong place where they don't usually grow. Like chanterelles grow on the ground, but a lot of mushrooms grow on dead wood. And sometimes even though it's under the moss, you gotta realize there's a little bump here. See this bump right here? That's a log underneath here. And sometimes you'll have Certain mushrooms like oysters or angel wings growing out from the moss, but there's actually dead wood under here that they're growing on. Okay, but these guys are growing on the ground and they're definitely chanterelles because you can see with those beautiful vein-like ridges run down the stem a bit and firm texture like string cheese kind of. This is a chanterelle and it has kind of a fruity kind of smell to them. Pleasant smell. Okay, let's go find some more. Check these out. These are angel wings. They're, I think they're a beautiful mushroom. See what I mean? How they grow on wood. So this guy's laying down. And some people find these a delicacy. Uh, if you have kidney failure on hemodialysis, these will kill you. So don't eat them. There are several deaths in Japan. So they are listed as a toxic. But apparently if you have good kidneys, it's okay. But they should be eaten with caution. I tried some last year and had abdominal pain and diarrhea. So to me, these are toxic and I wouldn't recommend eating them. But they're beautiful to look at, right? But pass them by. There's other better mushrooms to eat. This is why I like looking for golden chanterelles. You can spot them from a long ways away. Can you see that one in the middle of the frame there? Let's go walk up to it. See it? It's getting bigger. That's a monster. That's a monster chanterelle. Look at that beauty. That's a good one right there. But sometimes they can be a little bit tricky to see when they're hiding beside leaves and under leaf litter. They don't always pop up like that last one I showed you. But look at these beautiful chanterelles. Let's pick them. Find some more. Okay, be aware with chanterelles because I just picked those two from right here. When you stand up, Take a good look around because they grow in clusters. I turned around, my pail was there, and guess what I saw? See that little tiny thing? 
Look at that. There's another one. And then look at that. There's another one. And look at that. There's another one. And there might be more here. So always take a very close look because some might be popping out close by. Just like that little guy right there. This is a fresh little button one. Look at that. Nice little chanterelle. Okay, look at this. So this is exactly why you guys are here watching this channel because these are all golden chanterelles right here. See that? Do, 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 do. And, um, you know, starting out picking mushrooms is kind of difficult, right? You don't know where to start and you don't know what you're looking for. So sometimes you need some help, right? That's why I'm making this video. These are golden chanterelles. And, um, of course, I'm not going to tell you where I'm looking or tell you my patches, but I think telling you, you know, in the Tilloac River Valley has these mushrooms, that's a good enough place to start. Now, you have to think of mushroom picking when you're starting out as kind of like an investment, okay? This is my fifth year running in this spot, right? I found it my first year, and every single year I come back here in this general area and find chanterelle mushrooms and now I want to show you why the investment is worth it put in the time walk through the bush and when you find mushrooms put it away in the memory bank the data bank for mushroom picking in the future because every single year if you hit the right conditions those mushrooms will flush and when you find something like this it all is worthwhile check this out check out this line of mushrooms one two three Four, five, six, seven, and they keep going here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and they keep going up the hill. There's some you can't really see. One up there, seventeen. Okay, you see that? That's why you get out there in the forest when you're beginning and you put the miles on. Because when you find these spots, saves you time in the future year after year you can go back and find those same mushrooms year after year get out there and do some tramping well not bad for one little patch got a few pounds there oh look at this <laughs> I didn't even see that one there's still some around still in the same patch I saw these ones oh look at this Another one. I thought I would all pick them up. I walked past this spot again. Oh, look at that. Another one right there. And then look over here. These are the guys who tipped me off. And I almost stepped on these other ones. So take a close look around because sometimes you miss them the first time. But second pass, I saw these ones. Okay, I guess you're going to get a bit more for the bucket. Man, I already walked through here. I thought I had a good look, but then I think these leaves are throwing me off. Because look at this. Look at those ones right there. Hiding away. There we go. Two nice golden chanterelles hiding. They like to hide. You got It's a hide and seek game for these mushrooms. It's like a big Easter egg hunt. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the like button. I really thought I was done with this patch, but you know, the more angles you walk from, I was walking sideways back and forth. Now I started walking just straight up and down and you actually see more mushrooms because these ones would be covered by this fern, right? So if you're above, you won't see it. If you're just walking side to side, these ferns over here, that log is gonna block you from seeing these. So sometimes, I find the easiest way to see mushrooms is walking uphill because then you can see under the brush. You can see them better, but it's harder work walking uphill. But trust me, it works best. If you're always walking downhill and never finding mushrooms, that's why. You gotta at least walk side hill or stop when you're walking downhill and look back up behind you because that's when you see the mushrooms, okay? And I see these two and I see one more hiding right, all right, where is it? Right there, that little yellow, the other one is a leaf. But that one over there is a chanterelle. Okay, so the, the time you save when you already have... Okay, so the time you save when you already have patches, um, it allows you more time to go exploring. So don't stop exploring just because you have patches. Like, 
I was on the other side of that stream. I'd never come over here because it's earlier in the day and I have time. I thought, well, it looks like similar woods over there, similar kind of stuff. So let's go check and there's more chanterelles over there. Well, guess what? I just found a good patch. They're hard to see in these maple leaves, but there's quite a few here. There's an old one right there. There's another one right there. Try not to step on any because they're under the leaves. One right there. One hiding right there, and there might be more under the leaves. So, you know, oh, I see one up there too. See right there? Look at that. So, you know, expand your horizons. Get out, check, you know, adjacent areas to where you found before, and you might be surprised. Well, I tell you, this wandering through the woods is paying wonders. Check out how full this bucket's getting, and I keep on just coming along. More chanterelles. I'm telling you, ex expand your horizons. But look at these guys. More down here. See how they hide? Look at that. Hiding. Hiding. There's an old one down there. Might be some more around here. Yeah, so when you're out looking for mushrooms, so when you're out looking for mushrooms and exploring uh, horizons, it's easy to get lost because you got your head down the whole time. So make sure if you're not comfortable in the woods, take a GPS. And um, if you are comfortable, just pay attention, kind of like how far you're actually going and um, try to keep some sort of landmark. To me, I know I have a stream that I have to cross and I can hear it. So I don't have to go that way and then up the hill and I'll hit the road. But if you're just wandering through the bush for hours, you can get very lost. So it's a serious fact and people sometimes die doing this. So don't let it happen to you. Pay attention. Take a GPS. Stay safe, guys. Okay, did some more walking and look what I came upon. These are winter chanterelles. They're really tiny right now. You can see compared to my finger. They usually come up in big bunches, but they probably won't be ready for, I don't know, another week or two. Winter chanterelles, these are the later chanterelles after it gets cold. Also call them funnel chanterelles. You can see you have a hole at the top. And underneath, let's pick them, one of the biggest ones so we can show you. I'll leave the other guys to get bigger. See it still has that wrinkly look to the underside that makes it a chanterelle. And that is winter chanterelle. Or funnel chanterelle. See, it has a hole in the middle. Sometimes there's bugs in there. She split them in two. Then I'll see if there's any bugs. Okay, thought you'd like to see that. I'm telling you guys, this is the year to get out and look for new spots because at least you'll know where they pop up. Look, I just moved to another spot. New spot to me. Look at this. This is salal berries. They like to grow around there. It's the stuff they put in uh, flowers, the greenery decoration, and this stuff just grows wild out here. But look, underneath this salal is a nice big chanterelle. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous specimen right there, fully growing, but still healthy enough to enjoy. Okay, check out new spots, guys. 2019 is the year. Okay, check out. I just stepped over this log walking this way to grab that chanterelle when I turned around and looked under the log look what I found two there and another one right there so they do like growing under stuff sometimes you actually have to bend down to see these things so look they're totally hid here's some more and what did I say about hiding under logs look at this guys they're hiding right under the log I think I'm picking an area people pick so Sometimes the ones that are hard to find are the ones that are left over. So I might move to a different area that's not been picked yet. Mm -hmm. 